Hey guys, welcome or welcome back Majorettes. If you're new here, my name is Major J. Today we're going to be doing a wide cap boot haul. Let's jump into it. JD Moro, go and get your bag. If y'all only knew the drama I just went through just to be able to film for y'all today, lord, okay? Some of you may know I bought a new camera. I think I mentioned it on one of my vlogs and this camera has been running me for filth. Like I'm just <laughs> really trying to get the settings right. Now I understand why influencers say you really do not need a camera to get started because it is so much easier to just film on my phone. So I tried to initially film this video with my camera but it just wasn't cropping me correctly. I was only getting like me from the top or like my bottom section. It just wasn't doing what I need to do so we're back on the phone and that's okay with me I have upgraded my lighting system so I'm hoping this looks very good for you guys I am trying to make it good for you guys okay so we're gonna jump into it I'm gonna throw on some socks though so we can try on these loops all right so we're gonna do this retail style where I'm gonna sit down I mean I'll stand of course but try on these boots so that you guys can see I am not a huge fan a wide calf boots because I find that wide calf boots be looking crazy <laughs> like half the time they look hella cheap and I don't like that for me okay I don't understand why it's so hard to just make the same boots everybody else got on but what a wide calf but I digress so most of these boots are from Macy's I think I think all of them are from Macy's actually I noticed the other day that Macy's does carry the fashion to figure brand that you used to be able to just buy online so i think i got a couple from them steve madden and so on and so forth so we'll start off with this so this is the fashion to figure haya wide cap okay and a size 10. okay as we can see she's cute um the heel isn't super high we'll see how i like that and that's another thing too is i find like the heel part is always weird like that weird in between between kitten heel i don't know it does have a little zip on the side of it to help you get in so we're gonna see oh the struggle baby the struggle okay she's on the bottom but move at the top let me get the other one on first so far i'm not gonna lie it is giving a little cheap but it doesn't look cheap it just kind of feels cheap if that makes any sense it does have this cool little lace-up detail on the back that enables you to kind of loosen it up a little bit i'm gonna give me some space child because these thighs baby these thighs save lives it's zipping barely Ooh um all right so i can't get it zipped all the way that just goes to show the boot itself is actually pretty comfortable i don't know how comfortable they would be to wear all day though because my thighs rub together so like i'm definitely gonna be starting fires i'm trying to see if i loosen up the straps in the back more will it go up i don't think so because it's literally like stuck right here as you guys can see this one is gonna be a no for me I can't get it zipped and it kind of stops at an awkward spot so we move i'm back so i was able to get it zipped up but i still think it looks kind of awkward again as i walked over to look at the mirror my thighs was rubbing together and making this noise so yeah it's like the calf part kind of fits but then it got to the thigh and didn't think we had those it also has like do y'all see that this like weird and it gets, yeah, no, it's no, we gonna move on. All right, I felt like the screen was a little wonky on that last one, so I'm just gonna stand. Um, so these next ones are also from Fashion to Figure in this silver color, very similar to the first ones. They don't have that lace up in the back though. Um, what size are these? I got these in a 10 as well. Um, the shoe size itself doesn't seem to be the problem. So yeah, the 10, which is my normal size is fine. These are sliding right on and I can zip them. 
So things that kind of just make this look cheap offhand is really just the bottom of it. Something about the bottom of this shoe is rubbing me the wrong way. On top of that, the little hill, like these little kitten hills, nah, baby. I'm not gonna be drawing all this attention for me to be in a kitten hill. I think that's insane. It's ludicrous. So she's supposed to be scrunchy. I don't know if I like that because I feel like that's like, okay, I already have big thighs. I already have big um, calves. Last thing I need is to be drawing attention to them. So the little scrunchy look may not be it for me. So we gonna see. Okay, so here's the silver ones. I don't hate it. I don't hate it too much. Of course, I'm not in love with the slouchy look, but I, uh, I definitely think they're a lot cuter than the first ones. That's for sure. I don't know. I don't hate it. I feel like they sell like these things you put around your thigh that helps them kind of stay up because at this point I feel like it's a little bit too much space but I also don't have any like real pants on so maybe if I do on some leggings some jeans some stockings something that would kind of help it stay up but I don't know these are kind of cute they're kind of cute do we see it do we see them? They are a little big in the foot part. Like I feel like my feet are kind of flopping around. So maybe a nine and a half would have been better. Again, like I said, I'm normally a 10, but I guess because it's a wider shoe, they give you a little bit of extra space. So these are cute, not fall. <laughs> so yeah, I think I like these, these are cute. Okay, so these next one are Circus by Sam Edelman. Yeah. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I like this brand. They make some really cute, funky things. So these are like a play on the traditional Chelsea boots, but with a little platform. I love a platform. I don't know why. I know it's not for everybody, but I love a platform shoe, especially just for like regular activities, I guess. These are cute. I'm not gonna lie, when I first took them out the box, I was like, mm, I don't know about this. I don't know about this, but. I think I could definitely slay with this. I think a skinny jean would be nice with this. Something like more tailored and fitting. I don't think like a wide leg cargo thing would be the vibe that I would want to wear with these. I am don't even, I don't even think they're necessarily wide calf. I think I might've just picked them up because I like them. But these are cute. They're actually pretty comfy too. I like them. I like them a lot. Moving on. All right, so next up we have these Steve Madden mid-calf boots. These are supposed to be wide calf, but for some reason I can get this one zip, but this one, not even close, baby. They actually hurt really, really bad. And not because of the heel, which I do like the fact that they didn't like make the wheel, the heel any weird thing just because it's a wider calf. They're actually just really, really tight. So this is a size 10, which everything else has been so far. And I literally feel like it's squeezing on my foot. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these off. But other than that, I feel like if I would have got them to 11, they would have been perfect. In this case with the scrunchiness, I don't necessarily mind it. I think it's kind of cute. Definitely would have to see how it looks with pants because I don't know if I would have actual space to put anything in there. So maybe just a skirt with this, that might be the vibe. So yeah, these are a hell no and let me hear and take them off. All right, so next up we have another pair from Steve Madden. These are in a size 11, so definitely size up with the Steve Madden because they fit perfectly. I will say there is a little bit of a gap with the zipper, but not enough for me to say we're going to take it back. She's cute though. She's very casual. I kind of like the boxy toe. Um, I don't know. I'd have to see. I'd have to see what I come up with with this. I'm not absolutely in love with the style of the shoe, but I'm very impressed with the fact that it fits. It has the chunky heel, so I definitely don't feel super uncomfortable, which is very important. So let's get into this last shoe, okay? I think we have a winner, y'all. A little commotion for these boots, yeah. These are fashion to figure size 10, but I'm talking about fits perfectly. We do have a little bit of gapage here, but I think with some jeans on or pants on, that's gonna fit perfectly. Um, a little bit of like a dip here. Not enough to make me say I'm not wearing it. This is cute. I love the burgundy color. I like how it perfectly fits. I'm not gonna lie, I have to check the price on it because it is a little cheaply made. 
um you guys may not be able to see this on the camera near the zipper you can kind of see like little strings or whatever nothing that i can't just like snip out but yeah i think she's the cutest of them all okay and that brings us to the end of my video thank you guys for watching I haven't done a haul in a minute trying to get my coins up okay so bear with me i have some more stuff coming for you for this holiday season so make sure you turn your alerts on and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed if you made it to the end of this video why are you not subscribed yet like what are we doing here okay but thank you guys for watching i'll catch you on the next one deuces